Is your rosemary bush getting out of hand and you need to prune it? In this video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to prune your rosemary bush. Hi, this is Jeremy Stark here from Green Thumb Gardening, here to give you some tips, tutorials, and reviews for all your gardening needs. In today's video, I'm going to go over a very simple way on how to prune your rosemary bush. Maybe uh, you know it's you have a couple different bushes and it's it just seems to be getting big. I mean you got to do something with it. Uh, in my particular garden, it's getting a little bit big and it's a little unruly, so I can't really plant too many other vegetables besides it. I'm going to show you exactly what I do each year to prune it down so that it grows each and every year. Before we get started, though. If you could, please give us a green thumbs up. Let us know that we're making great videos for you. Also, if you could, hit the subscribe button down below. That way there you get notified of any new videos that we do have. If you like saving money and gardening, I have a free guide above. If Your rosemary bush is, is very simple to do. Now, if you uh, if yours is, is probably this is probably a medium-sized one. Th these can get very large depending on where they are. Uh, if you have a, a small or medium-sized one, you can just use you can use these clippers very much like this. They're large enough that that it can get the job done. But if they if they have really woody, if they're very wooden ones, then I would use a, a little bit bigger shears for that. So anytime that you're doing any kind of pruning on anything, I like to just kind of visually look at it and see where I want to take off some of the growth of this. Now rosemary is a little, it is a very woody plant, so if you notice that you'll see on the bottom, the bottom part of the, of the plant itself, they're going to be very, very woody on here. And then as you kind of get up to the top, you're going to see more of a, like what you would see at the grocery store, rosemary. It's very flimsy at the top, and it's not, it's not very woody. You want to you wanna make sure that you're leaving some of the growth in here so that it does continue to grow. And I literally could just take this whole thing and just chop it down, and it would still grow. It would still grow, but it won't. Uh, it won't flourish as, as much as that I, that you wanted to do, but to be honest with you, this thing is really difficult to, to really do anything bad to it. And this is this is very very bushy, very long. Um, the spot that this is in, particularly, as you can see, it's like bending over because the sun over here during the winter time doesn't get a lot of sun, so the sun is kind of more on this side. So I think it was reaching for the sun. Uh, but this is this is right over my vegetable garden, so. I'm actually going to move this one, and I'll show you in another video above um, on how to transplant this as well. But before I transplant, I'm going to give it a nice little trim to make it a little bit easier to transplant. What I do is, I don't want to cut off too much of it, and I, I do want to shape it to a point where it does look nice. You know, I don't want it to just be like this chopped off kind of thing. Um, if you did that, it would, like I said, it would still grow. So what I like to do is I try to visualize where I'm going to chop everything down. So I want this to be more um i don't want it to be i want it to be very small to be honest with you because the spot i'm going to put it in is a little bit smaller so i am going to cut this pretty heavy so i would say uh visualizing it i kind of put everything into a bunch and i would say that i want i want this cut off on this whole section right here okay so the reason why I like to bunch up, it just makes it a lot easier to, to work at it, uh, especially if you got a, a pretty big one. But if you're working with a smaller one, then you don't have to necessarily do that. You can just cut it off as you go along. But I, I'm a very simple gardener. I just like to keep things very simple, and I don't, uh, I don't like to make it difficult. So of course I'm going to save this. I'm sure my neighbors will like some of that. as much as I can. 
And we're going to make another pass with this, but the reason why I bunched up at the beginning is just to see how, how I want it to look and shape. And then we're gonna have to go back. Once I let this go, it's gonna come out again. So I'll show you exactly what I mean here. So as you can see, it just kind of still flops out. So the next, the next part I like to do when I'm when I am pruning the, the rosemary, once I get the height of it, then I'm gonna go around the perimeter of the actual plant itself. I'm gonna make this less kind of out. So I'm gonna look for some of the growth that just really seems to be sticking out like this right here. And then what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna show you on the other side, but I'm gonna get these off of this side. And I, I cut it right down to the wood piece of it. And on this side, let's see, so this is kind of sticking out. So we're gonna get rid of this guy. And you're just basically cutting down to the bottom half of the plant. You don't have to worry too much about cutting the wrong piece of it because it will grow more offshoots of it. And this is, this is pruning it regularly is very good to promote the growth. Because what happens is the plant itself is gonna redirect its energy uh, instead, of, instead of growing up now it's going to start producing more shoots along the wood, the woody parts, and you'll see more sprouts kind of coming up at the top as well. So you'll see a little bit, um, most of the wood itself, you might see a few little nodules that will come up there and then you'll see it sprout up. They might come out from the sides. But what it'll do is it'll, the energy will get redirected to reproduce them more. So doing that really does help out with making it grow a little bit better as well. So don't be afraid to cut as much as you need to off of it. I feel like I'm uh, Daniel's son with the, <laughs> the Karate Kid here. He's chopping off some of these bushes there. All right, great. Once you get it to the shape that you want it at, then you're pretty much done with it. Uh, this this will continue to grow. In fact, um, this will probably get a little bit more bushy. I'm gonna have to go at it again um, with it. Uh, but that's the great thing about these is that you you really can trim them back. You can trim them back every year if you need to uh, to keep it maintained. You know the shape that you do want it. Um, or you can just let them grow wild. And they do grow flowers eventually if you just let it go. And um, if they're in a good spot, healthy soil and all that, they'll, uh, they'll actually grow some flowers. So you can get some really big, bushy rosemary plants if you, um, if you let them go. Well, hopefully that's helped you. Uh, and if you could, please give us a green thumbs up. Let us know that we're making great videos for you. Also, if you could, hit the subscribe button down below. That way then you get notified of any new videos that we do have. Um, also, we have a website called GardenerThumb.com where you can get lots of tips and tricks and all that other stuff out there. And I'll see you in the next video.